In our summit, which was organized by the FCI, that is Faculty of Computing and Informatics at Ibarra University, different companies were represented. We had iStream, uh, which was represented by the Research and Marketing Administrator, Madame Asim Lydia. Then we also had Andela Uganda, which was represented by Madame Gloria Kemigisa. We also had FAST, uh, that is Faculty of Applied Science and Technology, which was represented by Ingenia Waswa Woody. Each of these companies had different products that are on market today. For iStreams, which is the largest leading computer company in the Western Uganda, their product on market today is Streamline. Would you like to know what Streamline does? Why was it created, as in why was it innovated? Then for FAST, that is Faculty of Applied Science and Technology at MAST, they have different departments. Would you like to know the different departments in that sector? Still in Andela, Uganda, they, would you like to know why Andela was started and how it was started? Keep watch to know more about the products that are on market from these different identified companies. It is so nice to be speaking before this audience. Uh, my name is Asimwe Lidia, and I work as the Research and Marketing Administrator for Innovation Streams Limited. Uh, this is the largest computer company in the Western region, uh, giving both hardware and software solutions to our local communities. And we are based here in Barara Town, as well as have a branch in Kampala and other places in the country. So that is who we are, and one of the largest products we are taking out on market this year is Streamline. Uh, Streamline is an e-health platform that is integrated and does, uh, and does help healthcare facilities to improve in their service provision. One of the things Streamline does is it is causing a transition from a paper-based method of storing patient records. We all know how risky that can be. So what we are doing is we are going into these hospitals and telling them that this method of paperwork based record keeping is barbaric, it is phasing out, it is unreliable, let us put everything on a computer. So we have completed the alpha testing where we have been to private uh, hospitals, private for profit, private not for profit hospitals. We have piloted and implemented streamlining in those hospitals and it has worked very efficiently and effectively. In fact, three publications on Streamline have come out in some medical journals uh, that I will refer you to go and read about. And this proves that it is highly effective and then also applicable in low resource settings. We developed Streamline here locally. It can only be run on your normal smartphones, on a normal computer with minimum computing power, and it does not need internet. That is why it's applicable in local settings. It runs on a local area network. So to acquire Streamline, you just need to come to our office and you pay a one-time license fee and an annual uh, uh, support fee, which is very, very minimum. And we have different payment models that favor you. And we will come to the health facility and install Streamline for you. We are working in partnership with Church of Uganda, TCC Hospital, and uh, while we were working with them and first implementing Streamline in that hospital, we discovered the local health insurance scheme. So the Bataka of TCC do come together and form clubs, you see, like Tweziche or something, but this is to save for their health. And then whoever falls sick in that group goes to the hospital. So Streamline has that component in it to manage and monitor local health insurance scheme processes. And we have taken this to other districts as well and they feel, wow, this is really, really great. Finally, one of the unique strengths of Streamline 
is the fact that it monitors the safety of a patient while in a healthcare facility. World Health Organization says some patients acquire infections while in healthcare. You will find a queue of patients when a TB patient is lining up with them and infecting everyone. So Streamline has safety prompts along the entire patient's journey. It keeps saying, from these symptoms, isolate patients. This patient is allergic to this drug. Do not prescribe this, this, this. And so that has made us stand out from all the other EMRs that exist in this country. Come to iStreams for your software solutions, hardware solutions, and for streamlining. Thank you, thank, thank you, so thank you, Nidia. Thank you, Nidia. A hand of applause for those guys. Next is um, Andela in Uganda. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, uh, yeah, good afternoon. My name is Gloria Kanigisha and I am the marketing lead for Andela Uganda and also an OG of Mary Hill High School. I guess I just had to do that, yeah. <laughs> yes, so um, how many of you have heard of Andela? Okay, the ones who have not put up their hands won't get things from us. The ones who put up, you come and find me. So Andela is um, Africa's leading software development company that started in 2014 in Lagos. We are now in Nairobi, Kenya, Kampala, Uganda, Kigali, and we have remote software developers who are working in Ghana and Egypt. So uh, if there are developers in this space, yes, there is hope. You can also be a remote software developer. You don't have to move to Kampala to work. But if you're working for Andela, you have to come to Kampala. Yeah, so, um, when did Andela start? Andela started because we believe that brilliance is evenly distributed, but opportunity is not. So as much as we have so much young talent in Africa capable of designing all these amazing things that you've seen in the corridor there in the exhibition space, they may not have access to growth, which means they don't have access to working with world-class companies in the Silicon Valley, such as Google, such as Facebook, such as IBM, which is here. But Andela does that. Andela gets you that opportunity. In that by the time you finish your four years of working at Andela, you are able to compete with someone who actually went to MIT. That's how good it is. So it's not about what you learn in the classroom and you have practical growth. You know, it's not about the tests and how much have you passed so much. It's about how much you're learning every day. And then I provide mentorship opportunities, and we believe that everyone, male or female, regardless of where they come from, is able to become the best version of themselves. So, uh, Andela in Uganda is located in Kampala. We have over 250 engineers in Uganda, which means we still need more. And we notice there are only, only eight people came from Mara. So, Mara University, send more people to Andela. Right now, we are actually hiring, and we are looking for people who are interested or who have passion for Ruby, JavaScript, and Python. We need senior engineers. We need people with two or more years work experience. So that if young people, like the girls from Mary Hill, come in, you're able to support their growth. And also, if you're in here and you don't know about software development, we have something amazing for you called the Andela Learning Community, and it's free. Guys, it's free, free learning and access to Google certification if you're committed to it. So find someone in an Andela t-shirt and ask them all the amazing questions. If you complete your application today on site, we have amazing things to give you. Shout out to the guys who have completed. Thank you so much. Well, thank you uh, so much, uh, Gloria. That was so uh, eloquent in that. Um, uh, next uh, should be Engineer William from uh, Must Fast. I hope you can spell those things very well. Fast, Must. I have the name suggest. Thank you very much, organizer. I'm called William Mosso, as I've been introduced by the organizer. Thank you very much for bringing the academic and industry together. This is really very good work because without us, they can't exist, and without them, they also can't exist because we need each other. So this is really a very good 
arrangement. Thank you very much for that good work. Yeah, I'm called William Waswa from Federal Applied Sciences and Technology. Yeah, master's moved from a, sing, a single faculty university, that's only from faculty of medicine, to now eight faculties, whereby one of these faculties, whereby one of these eight faculties, the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, which is located in Tumulo. This has pioneered the move of the Mbala University of Science and Technology to the main campus. So the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology currently has three departments that are functional. We have the Department of Biomedical Sciences and Engineering with our pioneers who are biomedical engineering students who are in third year. We have the Faculty of, so we have the Department of Electronic Electronics Engineering where we have electrical Bachelor of Degree in Electrical Electronics Engineering and also have the Computer Engineering students currently in the first year and second year who are in the Faculty of Applied Science and Technology. Then we have the Department of Mineral Energy and Petroleum Studies. Then we have the Department, we have the Bachelor's Degree in Petroleum Engineering and Environment Management. This is a unique program in Uganda. Then we have two other departments that are uh, to roll out or to start next year. We have the Department of Civil Engineering and the Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering. So please, adverts are out. Next year, I think we shall be in the admitting the first civil engineers and mechanical engineers in the western part of Uganda. So I'm um, from the Department of Biomedical Sciences and Engineering and I'm the head of the department. So I will shortly talk about some of the innovations and retire the Department of Biomedical Engineering that we are currently working on the department. So the department has a lot of expertise in different medical devices, basically in the medical imaging field. And we have three projects that we are rolling or we are working on. One of the projects we are having on, we are working on, is constructing 3D images from 2D images. Currently in Uganda, X-ray is the commonest form of imaging. When you go in the hospital, you always get an X-ray, an X-ray, it's very cheap. It's around 30,000. However, the information you get from the X-ray images is very limited. You can't get the same information like from CT and MRI. However, these give good image quality, 3D, but they are very expensive because a CT scan goes to over 400. So very many people can't opt for these images. So what we are currently working on is constructing 3D equivalents from 2D images. We are using studio photograph technology and you can be able to reconstruct the scapula, you have done the scapula and the femur from two X-ray images. So which means still with an X-ray image, you can be able to reconstruct a 3D model. So you have a software that is being under testing because you are planning to implement it on X-ray machines that are currently in Uganda. Another project that we have in the Department of Biomedical Sciences is the development of a low field MRI machine, which is the only MRI machine in Africa. We have a big grant and we have over four PhD students and undergraduate students who are supposed to be working on some small projects. So we are building the first MRI machine in Africa and it's being worked at the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology and we expect it to be implemented in five years because the proof of concept is already out and the patenting and the IP issues are not being worked on. The other project we are working on, so we are also looking for funds to implement. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last, please. <laughs> Just one minute. So the last project is, is called the Dig Path. We are having a spin-up company that's coming up from the Faculty of Applied Sciences. It's called Big Path for Africa. We have booked a low-cost digital microscope for automated diagnosis of surgical cancer from pap smear images. Currently, when you go in the hospital, the pap smear has analyzed manually. The microscopes they use are very expensive. We have come up with a 3D printed microscope with a software that can automatically diagnose for surgical cancer. And the tool can be able to predict if somebody has surgical cancer or the chances that this person can have surgical cancer. So we are trying to look for funds to implement the uh, application. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Engineer William, and a hand of applause for you. Well, as we have heard it from uh, these first companies that were represented, that is Ice Streams, Adela Uganda, and First, plus their products, as they talked about them. We still have more other companies that were represented. Keep watch for more of the companies that are still to come up and their products.